Okay, people, this is JD. I'm sorry the colors out. I'm just now trying new things on this, so excuse a black and white video. This video here is the second half of redistributing of wealth. We discussed what capitalism was, socialism was, and used Ford as an example. I'm going to do the same again. But here's the important thing that every single American, the federal government and economists are missing. Like the difference of capitalism and socialism, where socialism maintains the status quo and capitalism redistributes the wealth in which it recreates wealth, both again have a very, very different effect on society. Capitalism is extremely localized. Where the wealth is redistributed is where the wealth will be, new wealth be created. It is extremely, extremely localized. Socialism, whereas on the opposite, is spread completely around. And this is where capitalism is failing in the United States. Because of its extreme localization. Now you might say, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're going to use Henry Ford and Ford Company again as an example. When Henry Ford decided to do the assembly line and build his massive plants outside of Detroit, Wealth was created. Detroit prospered. It grew. People had jobs. People were making money. People were buying. People were getting richer. The rich were getting richer and the working class was getting richer. Even the poor were getting richer. <clears throat> so everybody around Detroit was getting rich. Now if you went to, let's say, uh, Baltimore, everything that Ford was doing around Detroit really had no effect on Baltimore. But Detroit was booming. It was growing. And of course, Baltimore had its capitalists. And that's who, who developed. And throughout the United States, we had all this capital that was being redistributed within the United States to create new wealth. And it did, and the country prospered. Now, whereas socialism tries to maintain the status quo. So, for example, a very prosperous area, its prosperity would be moved to an area that was not prosperous. So therefore the status quo was maintained. No one got greater than the other. They all maintained the status quo. Now let's get back to capitalism. Ford invested in Detroit. He redistributed his wealth. He created new wealth. He got richer. The area got richer, etc., etc., etc. But what's happening now? Ford has decided through their CEO and their board directors to move their factories elsewhere to third world nations where labor is a lot cheaper because shipping now allows it. So they take their factories out of Detroit and they place them elsewhere. They're continuing to redistribute wealth. Now Ford is distributing it in Mexico, is distributing it in Europe, is distributing it in Asia. And those areas are prospering. As they create new wealth in those areas, they are improving. The people are getting jobs. The area is prospering. But Detroit... They are not collecting on 
the redistributing of wealth. Even though the capitalist system is working, it's not working for Detroit because the redistributing of wealth is not in Detroit. It is extremely, capitalism is extremely localized. <clears throat> so what is happening? Well, as Detroit deteriorates, socialism moves in. The federal government takes areas that are prosperous, taxes, and utilizes them to try to maintain Detroit. Increase in welfare, increase in the social programs, all this stuff. But there's no change. It is continuing to deteriorate. Why? Because there is no capitalism in Detroit. The wealth is being redistributed elsewhere. And because the wealth is being redistributed elsewhere, elsewhere gets the benefits of capitalism. Because capitalism is very, very localized. Where socialism is spread out. Now comes the real bad news. The people of Detroit are no longer product producers, they are product users. They are not creating any wealth, and therefore, the deterioration of the area, and all they do is they use products. Now, this is a generalization. This is not to knock any individual, but this is to use the city of Detroit as an example. Now, look at the United States. The rich are getting richer, and the poor are getting poorer. Because capitalism, or the redistributing of the wealth, is outside the United States. Because this redistributing of wealth is outside the United States to create new wealth, capitalism is outside the United States. The United States is becoming a user nation instead of a producing nation. Eventually, if this continues, this trend continues and does not stop, the United States will end up as a socialist nation. People, rich people, you might think you're doing greatness building other nations, but you are neglecting your home. The rich are getting richer because capitalism is outside the United States. And the poor are getting poorer because capitalism is outside the United States and socialism is taking over. I don't want to hear anything about banks. I don't want to hear anything about the NWO. I don't want any of that political. I want straightforward this is economics. This is something that everybody, including the federal government, must realize. Capitalism is extremely, very localized. Socialism is spread across to everybody. Capitalism is the redistributing of wealth to create wealth, and will do that in the areas where the wealth is redistributed. Socialism takes the wealth that's created from one area and move it to another area that is not creating wealth, thus maintaining a status quo. How else can I tell you, people? This is something you all must understand especially the rich. 
this country made you rich, you need to reinvest into the country. You need to redistribute your wealth into the United States and care for the country. So that the United States never becomes a nation of users, but maintains its lead as a nation of producers. Because once the nation becomes a nation of users, and socialism takes over, there's nowhere in the world the rich will be able to hide their wealth. So to prevent socialism, we must maintain capitalism. But remember that capitalism is extremely localized and therefore it must be maintained within the United States. It's great to build third world countries, but not at the destruction of another. And that is what is happening. So people, you must understand the economics of capitalism. It is the wealth redistributed to create new wealth. It is extremely localized, so wherever it is distributed, it will create new wealth. But wherever it's not, it will not create new wealth. The production of products is the results of a strong capitalist society. The lack of production of products is the results of a strong socialist society. Now remember, I said there's four forces at work. Capitalism, socialism, free enterprise, and communism. Pure runaway capitalism and free enterprise is the best. But it's very, very localized. Socialism with cap uh, communism is in my opinion, to the worst. But it evenly spreads the wealth among all and product production is poor at best. Whereas free enterprise and capitalism, though very localized, is massive product production and brings new wealth to the area that capitalism is utilized. That's the bottom line, people. And that's something that everybody is overlooking. The redistributing of wealth to create wealth is very, very localized. And that's capitalism. Whereas the confiscation of everything by the government and evenly spread it throughout the nation is socialism and communism. So we have capitalism and free enterprise, socialism and communism. What is it that you people want for this nation? And now the real problem is it really rests on the shoulders of the rich. Are they going to start reinvesting and redistributing the wealth within the United States and allowing growth of new wealth within the United States? Or are they going to continue to reinvest and develop third world nations until the United States has become a third world nation? That's what is happening. That's why I tell you, political parties are no good for this nation. That's why you need somebody like me to be your next president. To turn this all around and go to the principles of our Constitution and the very core principles of our founding fathers.
for this nation, the United States of America. You have to decide. And I don't want to hear anything about NWO, and I don't want to hear anything about the Federal Reserve or banks. Here is the problem. When are we going to fix it, is the question. Thank you. This is J.D., presidential candidate for 2012. Understand strongly that capitalism and free enterprise is extremely localized. Socialism and communism is spread out to maintain the status quo. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is J.D.